right, so today I'm gonna replace this front cooling hose on the BMW E90. So it's this hose with the plastic flange right there. With the two 10 millimeters. And then this connects down there to the thermostat housing. All right, so I'm gonna start by removing the two 10s and then disconnecting these two hoses. And then I'm gonna be draining my uh, coolant reservoir. So to disconnect this top coolant hose, I'm just gonna use a flathead and get under this pin right here. And once you pull it up, it locks in place. So just like that. And then you, you should be able to pull out this top coolant hose. All right, so with the top hose disconnected, you can just push the pin back down. And, it. and then I'm just gonna do the same with the, this hose on the bottom. It's just using a screwdriver to pull up this pin and then you should be able to pull it out All right, so with the pin pulled up you should be able to pull it out but if it's a little tight you can just use a screwdriver and then just carefully uh, pry it out like that so i'm just gonna put down the camera so i can catch the coolant all right so with the two 10 mils removed you can just pull out the coolant reservoir So it's just held in place with this uh, this nipple right here. And you gotta uh, disconnect the coolant level sensor. So to disconnect the coolant level sensor, just pressing down this piece right here and then pulling out. All right, so with the coolant reservoir removed, I just put it over a bucket to let it drain. So next step is uh, removing this clip so I can take out the hose. So I'm just gonna use a flathead and pry it out like that. And then once once you get under there, you can just push this out like that. So now the hose can come out once you take off the bolts and the clamp on the bottom. So to remove the top of the hose, you're just removing these two tens. So I'm just gonna use a, a wrench and then remove these 10 millimeter bolts. And so with the two 10 millimeter bolts removed, this should be able to pop out. So I'm just gonna try wiggling it back and forth and pulling it out so, so the flange doesn't break on there. So I might need two hands for this. So I was able to pull out the top of the hose with both hands. And uh, you wanna make sure that this O-ring comes out as well so it didn't stay in there when you put in the new one. All right, so the bottom of the hose is held on by a hose clamp. So it's that one right there in the middle. So I'm just gonna use a screwdriver and try to loosen up the hose clamp like that. So it's that one right there. So I'm just gonna start loosening it. All right, so I got the hose clamp loose and then I just slid it up to here. So I, I should be able to just pull out the hose. So there's the thermostat where the hose connects to and I'm just gonna pull it out. wiggling it back and forth and then I got it out like that. All right, all right, so now I should be able to just pull up the hose like this. So make sure that bottom hose clamp doesn't fall out. All right, so the new hose is on top and the bottom one is the original hose. So uh, the original hose had a hole in it. So I just got a repair kit from O'Reilly's and I just spliced it right there. So I can temporarily drive it until I get the new hose. So now I can replace it. All right, so to install the new hose, I'm just gonna slip on the old hose clamp first. So uh, I got this facing the right direction so I don't have to uh, go under the car to tighten it and I'll be able to tighten the hose clamp on the top. Right there in the center, that, that little black connection right there, that's the thermostat housing. So I'm just gonna slip the hose back on there. All right, so I got the new coolant hose connected to the thermostat down there. And so when I was installing it, I just put the hose, the new coolant hose in the, in the clips right here where it holds the, the hose in place. So it'll be in the right orientation. So it made it easier to connect to the thermostat housing. 
connect the top of the coolant hose to the cylinder head and then I'll just slide down the the hose clamp so uh, everything's gonna be in the right uh, position before I bolt anything down or tighten the hose. All right, so before I install the new hose to the top, I just wipe it down so there's nothing that's gonna prevent it from sealing properly. All right, so I got the top of the hose connected and I just hand threaded the two 10 millimeter bolts. So now I can slide down the hose clamp. So the hose clamp's right here. So I can just slide that down to where it connects to the thermostat housing. Just like that. All right, so I got the hose clamp tightened to the thermostat housing. And then now I can just put the coolant hose back in the channel uh, the, or where it clips in. So I can just put this clip back now. And just, that just clips on. And now I'll just start tightening the two 10 millimeter bolts. So I already had these two 10 millimeter bolts uh, hand threaded in. So now I'm just gonna use a wrench and then do a couple turns on each side just to make sure that the coolant hose uh, seats properly. All right, so now that I got the new hose installed, I can just put back the coolant reservoir so don't forget to plug in the coolant level sensor first all right so i got the coolant level sensor plugged in so when installing this you want to make sure the sensor goes inside the heat shield right here so and then you can put the nipple in the hole so just like that Now you can reconnect the two pipes on the bottom. They just, they just, you just push it in. Might need two hands. So once you have the bottom hose connected, you just push down the pin, just like that. And now, um, same with the top one. You just push it in to connect it. And then it should click, just like that. And now the last thing is just to put the two 10 millimeter. 10, the two 10 bolts back. All right, so with everything installed back on the car, the last step is to just fill it up with some BMW specific coolant. So I'm using this brand from O'Reilly's. So that's it.